if you could do me a favor, um, share this on Facebook and Telegram. Share it out everywhere. Um, it's a bit of an impromptu uh, live stream, but I think it's it's uh, very important. I'm down outside the uh, Loretto Convent here. And when I say when I say convent, it's school grounds. Um, there's four different schools here, and uh, there's two play schools for very young children, and there's a, a primary school, and there's also a girls' um, secondary school here as well. Oh, well, you get done, folks. Yeah. All right, that's I'm live streaming here now. So, any, like. so anyone that doesn't want to be in the video, we're happy to be in the video. Okay, in the video. no worries. Um, has anyone been out here at all? There was a man out a while ago. He was talking to one of the boys. He was saying that the house is 150, but that there's 25 percent there. You want to jump in? Yeah, you want to jump in? Oh yeah. He was, he was What's saying, your own name? What's your own name? Uh, Michael John Dingle. Oh yeah. But he was saying 25 percent of them are men. And 25 percent. Yeah, but there was one bus load. There was a couple of men. Carrying children, the rest in were were coloured fellas. Like you know what I mean? there was a video put out. No, I don't know if you saw it, but uh, a lad by the name of Anthony put it out. Yeah, Anthony yeah. Friend, uh, yeah. Back, and from what I could that. see, there was a lot more than twenty five percent of them oh, men. Yeah. yeah. But the, there's two bus loads have came. Apparently, it, it holds one hundred and fifty. Oh yeah, yeah. Look, I and they're all bumpets. Again, yeah. he was talking to the man who owns the place. Yeah. And he gave him some kind of information, but not clearly. But this is the same. This is the same fella, right? And just for those that haven't, um, that aren't in the loop, the man that owns this facility, along with local councillors and uh, TDs, told the community here right, in the last few days that it was all Ukrainians. Yeah. From what she's seen tonight, were the Ukrainians? I wasn't here when the buses landed. I saw the video. Yeah. And I've been told that, you know, there were actually no disrespect to them, but there were actually black people. No, there's so no, right, there's no disrespect. If, you know, if they look, you know, yeah. you know, in my, like, in my, in my book, we have, we have to stop seeing it. Apologizing for it. Yeah, we need to stop apologizing, yeah. you know, for saying someone's black. If they're yeah. black, they're black. If they're white, they're white. You know, um, that's probably one of the reasons why we are in this situation, yes. because we've been so... Right, apologetic over yeah. the years, you know. Yeah. But you know, um, right, the local councillors, the the uh, right, the principals from the schools, right, put it out in the last few days that it was all Ukrainians. But and from what there's I, another man here, his child is actually going to this preschool here. Like he's a small boy. Right. What I mean? he, okay. He feels uncomfortable with this situation. Like, you know what I mean? Why Games would you not? They all need to stand together and say, yeah. like, right, we're going to put our kids out of here. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. And make a stand and everybody stand together like yeah well 100 percent. like you know we're, we're i was talking to a few people now tonight and you know we we need to get a town meeting together yeah um, well, i'd say and he will he will spearhead this anyway because he was speaking to the man that owns the place and stuff like that he's okay. the manager of brew boys it's a football team here inside okay the okay so like it's a strong enough community inside and here like yeah 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 because look right whatever way you look at it right putting um, 150, and you know, even if 80 percent of them, right, are men, right, into a school grounds with with two play schools, a Nash, a primary school, and an all girls convent. And there's a special needs school. As well. And there's a special and needs school as well. Right the road. Yeah, yeah. The, the nursing home upstairs halls have to close and down as well. Like they were saying, apparently because of fire hazards and this and that, but work since work has started up there immediately. Like you yeah, know, well we've seen, we've also seen that trend around the country. Right, they've been closing no nursing homes uh, because right, they're too expensive to run. Right, but then they straight away open up as. Asylum centres. But there's another guy you know? here. He owns the old, uh, the old um, the nuns' convent down there. I know him. I know him. They, they approached him and they offered him to. They, they said they'd give him 110 euros per person 
for a night if they'd given that 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 class now. Yeah. And he was down again earlier on. He told them because the access that they were using was going through his place. Yeah. So he's told them no, he doesn't want that. So now they have to come they, out through so here. So they have to come and out. In order to go down to the town, they have to go down past Loretta. So that know, was one of the other stories I've heard now in the last few days, right? That they would be able to use a different, a different entrance. Access, yeah. But, but, no, but that's, they're not but that's out now. That okay, so now they have to they use have the same to, yeah. entrance yeah, as the children. A um, couple of lads so, over here. Are you happy to talk, lads? Or Yeah? Who, who's got a... Which one of you has a... Has, yeah, have you a child in the, yeah. in the school? Yeah. Right, do you mind? Yeah, yeah, go to camera. Yeah. What's your own name? Sorry. I'm Derek. Um, um, so, how old is your child? He's three. He's three years old. Yeah, yeah. And he goes, is it this one here? No, he goes into the school just here. Okay. Yeah. And, and how do you. For, yeah. for, uh, for, since, poison, or since he went back to school, I suppose there's been then numerous times there every day. So, somebody, like I said to you a few before, somebody must have known about this for a long time. Do you know what I mean? Because the amount of work that's going on there. Well, yeah, that's a couple of weeks. Well, I was in there a few months ago. I don't know if you saw that, but I was in there uh, a few months ago and I spoke to some of the lads at doing work and I knew four months ago, I'd say, that this was being turned into a refugee right. centre. I put out right. a video. The video's on YouTube, but look, it wasn't picked up. But, uh, a lot of the time, things like this are only picked up last minute. Yeah, uh, and that's what's yeah. happening. Well, like that's like I said, like you see, I've, I've seen some of your videos on Facebook. And yeah. It's just what's happening, you want to watch me, it seems to be everywhere, no wonder, let's say that it's only starting, it's already started, we just painted like, yeah. we are genuinely becoming second class citizens, oh, of course. 100%. You know I mean, and everyone feels it, for sake. it's just, it's gone beyond an absolute joke. Yeah, and with uh, this, uh, the housing crisis as well around the country, like, everybody knows a young person who can't afford to leave their mother and father's. Yes, yes, who has to stay there yeah. up to the age of 30, 35 yeah. Yeah. because there's no options, okay? We're, we're, um, it's become a cultural thing now, right, for our young people to leave the country mm -hmm. and go to Canada, mm -hmm. right, yeah. or Australia. Mm -hmm. But there's no problem at all then, all right, doing up buildings like this and filling the country up. Which are coming for with, years, absolutely years, there was people, like, we've constantly been told that there's no money for, for the child care. Yeah. There's no money for the hospitals. There's no money for local amenities and all of this kind of stuff. Yeah. And all of a sudden, it's just, the last couple of months, it's just, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's what all your videos are about. It's, Keep it's sharing this out on here, folks. We've 120 in uh, the room there, and it's growing. So keep sharing it on Facebook and Telegram, and uh, the more people that see this, the better. Um, yeah, but the fact that there's no local TVs right here, is an absolute joke. Well, it's look, coming. you know, I'm going to be here tomorrow again at, Right, at five o'clock, mm -hmm. right? I've a few people invited, and and I'm going to make it my business uh, to invite the local councillors here tomorrow, right, to answer a few questions. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. there's going to be plenty of parents, right, that have got questions for them. Um, you know, like I was speaking to someone tonight, and for me uh, to train my two sons, uh, soccer. Oh, you have to get fitted. Yes, 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 right? yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. So we were man inside, and his name is Dan, I believe. Yeah. He told one of the lads here tonight that everybody is from Ukraine and everybody is vetted. What do you think about that? About that answer? You know? Like, 80% African. The last time I checked, Ukraine was a white country. Yes. You know? That's... But surely, with the whole war thing as well, sure. Isn't this the whole thing that people who are the power of the youth was over there, sitting in the hotel, staying in front of the land? You can see it on every time, every village. Yeah. That's the story we were told in the right at the beginning, and it quickly became apparent that there was, and, and there are Ukrainians. There are Ukrainians here, right? Because yeah. I have yeah. seen them. Yeah. Um, and I've spoke to some of them even. But as far as I'm concerned, the end of the Ukrainians happened right, a few months ago, and all we've been getting since then is, is Africans, Middle Easterns, and Georgians. There's a massive number of Georgians, and people, people wouldn't be blamed right, for mistaking Georgians as Ukrainians. You know, they're fairly close, 
geographically. Sorry, dear. That woman there has something interesting to say, but she'll okay. want, want to be on camera. Though. Oh, she doesn't. Okay, no, I won't put you on camera. Or you could talk off. It's facing me. It, it, it's it's no. Look at the food and all that. Oh, here's the food, lads. Second load. That's the second van load, is it? Yeah. Um. He's that's how we get on. <laughs> Have you got some grub for the legs, have you? Yeah. The wealth of rule. What have you got in there? We have uh, dinner stuff. Oh, the dinner stuff like spuds, snow, and chips, I suppose. And yeah, everything. Burgers and. Yeah, have you any here for the locals? Like some, like some hungry mugs here? We'll get you something. Will you? Yeah? Any kebabs? Fair, fair play, lads. Fair play. Um, Have you many to feed inside? Or? I have no idea. I have no idea. But how, like, how many meals did they um, say to bring? We won't know, no, no. We get an email in the morning, you know. Yeah, oh, yeah. Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you getting on? Hello, how are you getting on? Don't take any videos of me. Oh, no, it's not. You're taking videos. You're out in public. Yeah, you're taking videos. You're out in public. <laughs> I can, like, I can take videos, videos if I like. Don't worry. Yeah. Um, how many have you got inside, can you tell me? Hello? How many have you got inside? 62. 62 only? Yeah. Okay. Right. Are you all happy and... Yeah. Yeah. Are you all Ukrainians, can you tell me? Yeah, yes. They're 100% so, so Ukrainian? Yes, so, so, as I know, yes. Oh, alright, so they're white? Yeah. They're all white? Oh, there's mix as well. Oh, there's mix. There's mix there as well. <laughs> alright, because some fella told me that there's, uh, right, it's, mo it's mostly African looking um, individuals. How are you getting on? Are you the owner? Oh, yeah. Me, I'm Derek Blythe. Oh, yeah. I'm a local man, yeah. You're not Who, local, you're not local. I am local, yeah. You're not local. I, I am local, I live locally. Where do you live? I'm, I'm yeah, I live out the road. I, I live out towards Mitchell's house. Yeah. yeah, I do. No, you're on. You're, you're live streaming there now. Right? Are you the owner? No. You're not the owner? Is he the owner? No, he's not. Oh, he's not. Okay, okay. Okay. Um, no, no, I'd be like to talk to him. Like, there's some locals here who've got some questions. Yeah. yeah. Some concerns there's, who's going in there, like. We were, what, what, what are you looking for? Find out. We were told, right, that this would be... Hey, hey, no, no, hey, no, hey, no, hey, no, hey no, don't, don't be touching his private property. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's private, don't worry. Don't be touching his private property. No, don't be touching his private property. Well, you'll get no fucking information now. Hang on, hang on. No, no, hang on, 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 Will you come talk to us, sir? You want? I don't, I don't, I don't want that. You don't want to talk? No. Okay, okay. No hassle. Right, so nobody wants to talk there, folks, because you know what? The, the, the fact of the matter is, right, that these people are now feeling fairly guilty, right? The whole town was told over the last few days that they were getting Ukrainians. Hello? There's your man down over again, the assaulter in chief. There we go, down the road. Yeah. Um, the whole town was told. Right, that they were getting Ukrainian refugees, um, families and women. Right, so most people assumed by that that a lot of kids were going to show up and mothers because obviously the, hus right, the husbands were staying in Ukraine uh, to fight the war. And lo and behold, two buses showed up tonight um, full to the brim with African men and there was probably some Arab men as well, I think, was there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. African men and Arab men. So these are the men now that are going to be roaming the school grounds here on a daily basis, roaming around the town on a, school, on a daily basis. You have a primary school, a preschool, another preschool, and an all-girls convent. And, uh, you know, the people right, that are protecting this facility are happy enough to assault, you know, anybody right, that asks them questions. So, you know, it's a, it's a sure sign of guilt. Anybody else want to talk to me or you're, you're all... Uh, no, but yeah. I'd say there'll be a fair show of people here tomorrow evening at 5 o'clock. There's, there's a lot of people once I talk down, you know, and the rest yeah. of the boys, there'll be a fair show of people. Yeah, yeah, tomorrow. yeah, well... There will be, because they're, we're not going to stand for this. We've all got kids and, uh, and relatives in this town, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. No, it's not on. And do you know what? I've been covering... Um, Stuff like this all over the country seen, yeah, for following, years, yeah, been right? I've been to yeah. I've been to dozens and dozens of these, and what happens? The Grand Hotel was one thing, right? The Grand yeah. Hotel got genuine, genuine. Ukrainians, yeah. right? I was a bit concerned at the start, but you got 
genuine Ukrainians. What happens when buildings like this open up and they fill them up with African and Arab men is... I'm sure that's what happened in Wicklow, like. The first it was women and children. They yeah. moved them all over. Yeah. It's all single men. And then the violence and starts. And there's rivalry between gangs. And, 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 yeah, and then, and then the sexual assault starts. Uh -huh. Um, right, the pestering of women, hopefully not the rapes. How many rapes, right, have we had in this town uh, in, the la in the last, in the last few months? I, 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 couldn't, like, I couldn't number them. Right? Yeah, I know, yeah. yeah. I know of uh, three uh, sexual assaults here in this town, right, that were done, it was done by foreigners. Um, Right, there was another one, maybe there was at the girl, serious saw, maybe serious at the weekend. Recently, like, yeah, okay, like, yeah. The road for day, but there's been nothing about that either, like you know what I mean? Like yeah. we're the start of the story and not the end of it, you know what I mean? Well, generally, uh, the way it works with the media is right. They will report it mm. first of all, all right. But if word gets out that it was foreign, yeah. it goes very quick, very very quick. The nationality is not mentioned, like. Yeah, you know. So what I'd say to people is, um. People are from I, you know, wise up now quick because you've no idea who's gone into that building. Um, the uh, the man who owns it, he told one of the locals tonight that they're all Ukrainians and they're all vetted. But we know already that 40% of people, and this was a few months ago when the scam was young, 40% of people right, were getting on the planes with their passports and by the time the plane landed in Dublin, their passports were disappeared. They didn't know where they were gone. And the reason for that is, if they can land in Dublin as undocumented, then the sky is the limit. They can say that they're from anywhere and they can spin any story whatsoever. But say if they, if they have a, a passport from Georgia, Right? Then we know that there's no war in Georgia. There's there's no legitimate reason, right, to be an asylum seeker from Georgia and you'll probably be refused. So ditch the passport, say you're from Ukraine, say you're from you know some place with a war, and in you go, four star treatment, here's your dinner, you've got a bodyguard there at the gate that'll bait up anyone right who asks you any questions, and you know, you'll have a house in four months. Four months you'll have a key. And off you go, right? Well, our own people have to flood out the country here to go to Australia and Canada um, just so they can have a normal life. So, um, five o'clock tomorrow, folks. I'll be outside this gate again. Um, if you're from Formoy or uh, the area, right, and you want to come down, come on down, or right? we'll have a chat and uh, we'll we'll hopefully get a few questions answered. I'm going to be inviting all the local councillors and politicians down here as well at tomorrow, five o'clock, Loretto Convent. So I'm going to sign off there now for the night because um, we've enough talking done. People are getting tired and I'm sure our guests in here are sick of listening to my voice at this stage. So.